Hey, Mike with DVD Millionaire here. And do you find out the age of the home and how long your potential customers have lived there while you're selling door to door? If not, adding this in can really help you make more sales while you're selling door to door. So one thing to really keep in mind is that a lot of sales reps tend to make the mistake of jumping into their value build and their sales pitch too soon before they actually find out enough information about their potential customers. So one way to do this and find out more information is asking a conversational closing question and a really great one to use is how old is your home or how long have you been in the home for? Because again, there's a couple of things you can find out when you do this and determining that answer can really help you choose between how you position what you're offering, right? Your products or services and how you explain it to your potential customers. So knowing that information of how old the home is and then how long the potential customer has lived there can make a huge difference. So there's really three different categories that a home can fall into. So there's the new homes and those are going to be between zero and five years old. Uh, aged homes, which are going to be between six and 15 years old. And then older homes, which are going to be basically 16 years and plus older. And then again, depending on how those potential customers fit into um, how long they've lived there, that can determine how you approach the person as well. So when you're starting off with newer homes, a lot of times what can happen is your potential customer isn't really gonna think necessarily that they need your product and service because their home is brand new, right? So for example, you might talk about uh, a cleaning service or you know pest control service or security systems, right? You can offer a lot of different things door to door, but let's take that example of a pest control service. So if somebody has a brand new home, they probably aren't gonna be seeing a lot of pest issues in their home, right? But what you'd wanna do is position your products and services and explain to them what happens as the home ages. So you're gonna position it more as being a proactive thing or a preventative measure rather than they're obviously having issues right now and they need to get your service. So again, in that pest control example, you wanna talk about how over time the home is gonna settle, it's gonna develop, cracks and crevices in the foundation and the outside of their home. And basically what happens at that point is that's when pests really start to get in and they're gonna start to see issues. So instead of waiting for that to happen, you wanna set up a pest control service now so you can keep your home pest free rather than waiting, getting a pest issue, having an infestation and ha trying to hire someone down the road. That's gonna cost you more time you know, more hassle, more headache, more money to fix that issue rather than keeping your home like it is now and just setting up a minimal maintenance program to keep your home pest free. So, you know, why don't we have you get started with that great discount we're offering now to make sure that your home stays pest free. So that could be an example. Or again, maybe you market security system. So a lot of people think, oh, well, I have a brand new home. Why would I need a security system? And you can kind of explain to them that a lot of times that's the usual mindset that people have, right? Is they think they don't need a security system because their home is brand new. And what that actually does is it creates a situation for thieves where they know that. So a lot of times they actually target new homes because they think the homeowner won't have already invested in a security system since their home is brand new. So again, that could be another selling point of why they should get your security system now because these will be targeting their home since it's a brand new home. So again, that's one way or a couple different ways that you can position your products, your services based on a newer home. The next option is gonna be that aged home range. So between that six year time frame and that 15 year time frame. With this, you wanna determine at the same time how long that person has actually lived in that home. Because if they've had it from since it was built to now, it's a different conversation than they just moved in and finding out that there was several different owners beforehand. So again, you wanna understand this because how you position yourself it's gonna vary depending on how long that person has been in the home. So if they haven't been in a long time, but it's in that five to 15 year old range, there's probably previous owners that may not have had 
the same standards or the same viewpoints as the current owners. So again, let's say you market a cleaning service. Now, the current owners might think, oh, well, we probably don't need to hire a cleaning service. We're clean people, right? We stay on top of things, whatever the case might be. But you want to position that service as basically finding out how many previous owners there were, what were the previous owners like? Because again, you might be, you know, your standards might be pretty high for cleaning your home, but the previous owners might have little <laughs> to no care whatsoever about how clean their home was. So they probably never really did a really deep clean of their home. So you're probably overdue for that. So why don't we get you set up for that now? And then that can last you several years. And especially since you can take advantage of the great discount that we're offering. So again, you can position it like that. Or again, same thing, let's say we're talking about pest control again. The current owners, maybe you do your own pest control, you're on top of that, you pay attention to those things, that's all great, but if the previous owners didn't do anything or they haven't paid attention to pest control around their home whatsoever, there could be a lot of pest buildup over the past few years in place. And again, maybe they just kind of clean things up really quick before you moved in when you saw the house, but all those pest issues, they're nesting, they've built their numbers up over time. And then now that you're in the home, they might start to appear and create pest issues for you because the last owner probably didn't care very much. So again, let's get you set up on our preventative program. Let's do some initial treatments to get your house set up so you can keep it great and pest free the next handful of years for yourself. So again, when you find out how long they've been in, but then also how old the home is, can help you position yourself better while you're marketing door to door. The last section you wanna fall into and talk about with potential customers is when it's an older home. Again, you still wanna find out more about the potential customers you're talking to, how long they've actually been in the home versus how old the home is. Because again, if they haven't been in it very long, you want to position it very similar to that aged home age range because again past owners different issues things like that that they want to talk about but if they've been in their home a long time you basically want to assume that these people have either purchased your type of services or products before or at least have thought about purchasing your products and services that you offer before and then also assume that they know a lot about their house because again if you're trying to tell someone the ins and outs of their house, but they've lived there for 20 plus years, you're probably going to offend them. Or again, you're not going to be really seen as a credible source compared to them. They're like, well, I've lived here 15, 20 plus years. What do you know about my home? Right? So if they're been in a long time, make the assumption, for example, let's say you're marketing that pest control again, you might say something like, I'm sure you know as your home ages, since you've been here a long time, it settles, the foundation can develop cracks and crevices, it can really increase pest activity, and since you've been here a long time, I'm sure you already know that, and have noticed different things around your home. So again, where do you typically notice pest issues, like inside your home or outside your home? So you're kind of assuming that they you know, already understand the life cycle of pests in this scenario. They already stay, understand what's going on in their home. So again, you're not going to offend them. But then again, let's say they didn't or they didn't pay attention to that. You're still educating them without putting them on the defensive. At the same time, you could position it as um, that they already have considered your product and service or that they've used your product and service before. So you'd be like, hey, I know you've been in the home you know, 15 plus years at this point. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I'm sure you've already either had a security system in the past or have considered getting one. You know, what company did you check out before? Or what company did you go with before? Again, you're making that assumptive statement. And then again, if they never have considered it, that's great. Or if they have, you can flush out some different concerns or possible objections they might have with getting started with your product today. And so then you can focus in on what's different, what's upgraded, what's better about your product and service than what they might have looked at in the past. And again, another thing to focus on when you're talking about older homes, you can position your products and services, depending on what you offer, uh, as like an upgrade or repair for something that they already have. So again, if they've been in their house for 30 years, and let's say you offer new roofing, um, you could talk about how taking action now and improving the roof, upgrading what they have, 
could prevent leaks and water damage and future issues if they keep the roof that they have now versus upgrading now and improving on what they have. Having you install a new roof could prevent a lot of those issues, save them a lot of time, money, headaches, and hassles down the road by getting started with you today and taking advantage of the great discount that you have. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share, but really keep in mind asking how long that person has been in the home and how old the home is because it can really help you distinguish what type of approach you should use in your sales pitch and your value build, which can really help you increase your sales long term while you're selling door to door. And then if you do happen to also be in door to door sales or door to door marketing, be sure to head on over to d2dmillionaire.com and enter your information there to get access to our free podcast training on how to avoid the five most common reasons why sales reps fail in door to door sales. So again, if you're struggling, maybe you want this year to be your best year yet, or you just want to hit, hit that new income goal this year, be sure to head on over to d2dmillionaire.com, enter your information to get that free training. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.